Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Thanks. Now well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. Mm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Lauren! Miss Pim. I miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. I'm a father, too. But I'm no killer. <laughs> ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me.
So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients, one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines, you still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait! If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, 
floor. And, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Hey, Lauren. I found it. Gummy figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. In 77, October, I think. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. God, oh, beat it. You lousy, no good brats. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least you won't get beat. A little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me!
nothing but a slow poke. Bitch can't do that. Wait for me! Get a move on! Seek! You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, nine, thirteen, seventeen,
foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. He had never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave.
Time to play the sexy girl.
go in, and they can talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> I'll take that. Just get in the way of good things, sweet cheeks. So, show me what you can do. Take it off. Slowly. Take it all off. We just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Uh, okay, uh, could, could I have a drink? No, just a little drink to break the ice? Oh, we already broke the ice. Oh. Let's get wet. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never, baby. I never say never for an answer. But you go, girl. Okay, act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. If you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh! You fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're gonna know about it when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? Yes? Where's Paco? I'm sorry, um, he can't come to the door right now. He's all, um, tied up at the moment. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> ah! If you
you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, ah, oh, what you doing? Stop it, stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? I never set foot in that environment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear. Ah, ah! Shepard! His name is John Shepard! That's all I know, I swear it! Ugh. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. <laughs> Get out of here. I've got a massive headache. came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing now, and I don't want to know, but whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you get me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paying. Fuck around, man. No. Now wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't kill me.
see him. Sorry, I don't speak cop. What's my list, asshole? I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco. Always let him straight up. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. Interesting. Forty five caliber semi automatic. Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. Forty five caliber. The killer was looking for something. Right between the eyes. Instant death. Madison Page. What was a journalist doing here? Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer.
Madison Page. She may be a witness. <laughs>